Multilayer tablet drugs are a combination of two or more active yet incompatible pharmaceutical ingredients. They are the best option for a pharmacist when the active and incompatible ingredients are needed for simultaneous administration. Several different granulations are compressed together to form a single tablet. Usually there are two or more layers, each with an individual color to produce a distinctive looking tablet. The layers are fed separately from a separate feed frame with individual weight control. As each component is laid down, each layer undergoes light compression. Dust extraction prevents contamination during the compression. Some indications of multi-layered drug tablets are modified release formulations, separate from those that are immediately bioavailable, aesthetic appeal, combination products, and product line extension. Multi-layered drug tablets have many advantages. As a pharmaceutical drug, the life cycle of the tablet is increased with a broad range of release profiles. Within pharmaceutical sales, it creates a competitive advantage and provides cost saving by reducing manufacturing. As a clinical treatment, they can improve patient compliance and provide higher drug loading capacity. Even with the many benefits multi-layered tablets provide, there are also disadvantages. One disadvantage is seen with multi-layered controlled release formulations, known as the burst effect, in which there is an immediate release of an initial drug bolus of drug before the release rate reaches a stable profile. The initial drug delivery is profound and the effective lifetime is reduced. Others are the first order kinetics and increase in dosing frequency. Despite the disadvantages, many drugs are synthesized as multi-layer tablets. One example is cotrimoxyl, which contains sulfamethoxyl and trimethoprim. Lozenges are solid preparations used for slow disintegration in the mouth. Their indicated use is for slow release medication. They contain one or more medicines, usually in a flavored sweetened base. They are made by compression or by molding. Commercial lozenges are made by compression. Compounded lozenges are made by molding mixtures of ingredients containing sugars for hardening, polyethylene glycol for softening, and gelatin to form the chewable lozenge. The advantages of lozenges are seen in the clinic with patients. The formulas can be easily changed for patient specificity. They are easily administered to pediatric and geriatric patients. The drug is easily kept in contact with the oral cavity for an extended period of time. However, the easy administration to pediatric patients can also be one disadvantage. Children may perceive a gummy type lozenge as a candy rather than a serious dose of medication. With more advantages, many drugs are synthesized as lozenges. Cough and throat lozenges such as benzocaine are used to soothe the throat, numb the area, and suppress the cough. Nicotine lozenges are made as a method to quit smoking. Zinc lozenges are antioxidants to fight infections. There are also erectile dysfunction lozenges and morning sickness lozenges.